about the thimble hooks. Thanks for stopping by. Do you remember I just showed you this not too long ago? The split or half and half or 50-50 or whatever you want to call it, granny square. One side is traditional granny clusters and the other side is a solid, a solid with no gaps. And this was all solid color. Now we're going to make it in two colors which is actually a little bit easier, I think, because it's easier to follow and make sure you finish your corners properly. So let's make this one. So this is Karen Simply Soft. We're gonna do two colors. This one is soft pink, and this one is fuchsia. And today I'm going to use two really obnoxious colors that I love so much. This one is limelight, very, very green. Oh, now they call it lime. It was, used to be called limelight. And this is super duper yellow, which is one of my favorites. It's just so fun to say. You start with whichever color, you want to have as the solid. So if you have a specific arrangement that you want to do, I want this one to be green, then start with green. And my four millimeter hook, ready to go. So we're gonna make a magic circle. And if you're not familiar with that, I have a very easy tutorial where I'll show you very slowly how we do the easiest magic circle in the world. There's our magic circle. Now I'm going to chain three. One, two, three, and this counts as a double crochet. I don't usually do things that way, but it works best here. And now I'm going to finish that cluster of three. So with two more double crochets. Normally we would make a chain two here and start another cluster, but for this part right here, I don't want it to be a chain two. We want to do a triple crochet to fill in our corner. Is not going to be a chain two, it's always going to be a triple crochet. So let's yarn over twice and go into our ring, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. And now we're going to mark that little triple crochet so it's easy to find later until you get on a roll. On the other side we want to do another cluster of three double crochets, pretending that this is a chain two so there's our first corner. So here's another cluster, one, two, and three. So cluster number one, our triple crochet, and cluster number two. Chain two to make a corner, and now we are going to move our limelight way over and fasten on our next color. And this color will be our super duper yellow will be doing just the granny cluster side. So make sure that your green, your first color is way over there so it doesn't get mixed in. And now you want to attach your yellow and into our magic ring do a granny cluster of three double crochets. One, two, and three. This is probably the trickiest part, getting this very first round down. The rest of it's going to be super simple. Chain two for another corner and do another cluster of three double crochets. One, two, and three. Cluster of green, a corner, cluster of green, a corner, cluster of yellow, a corner, a cluster of yellow. Now we need another corner. We are going to do a half double crochet sideways into this top, the top part of our chain three. So right in here, do a half double, which is a yarn over, yarn over, pull through all three. And that just closed our corner. So as you can already see when it's in two colors that this is the solid side and this is the granny cluster side. And now we're going to chain three, one, two, three, which counts as a double crochet and turn our work. And in this corner, I want two more double crochets to make this half of the corner a granny cluster. Chain one and jump over to the next space, which happens to be a corner. So we need to make a corner of a granny cluster, which is two double crochets. I'm sorry, three double crochets. And a chain two in the middle. And in that same space, three more double crochets for another granny cluster. 
jump over to this corner so we chain one and jump over to this corner right here and we are going to put in three double crochets for another yellow granny cluster chain two and now put our yellow way off to the side and bring our green back in so we don't twist up our yarns. So now we're just going to attach on our green and tighten it down. It doesn't have to be super tight, but you want it to be pretty, pretty good, pretty tight. This should be sufficient right here. And now on this side, we're going to put in two double crochets. because that is half of a corner for a solid side. Now we work these three, one, two, three. A double crochet on the top of each one of these stitches right here. So there's my number one stitch. There's a double and a double and a double. There will be three of them. And now we're to our marked stitch, which is a corner. A corner for a solid Granny square with no gaps is two double crochet in that same space. And then a triple crochet, which is two yarn overs. So yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. And I'll just mark that again so it's easy. Easy peasy to find until you get on a roll. Then we have to finish the other side. So there's two doubles, a triple, and then there's two more doubles. That is a corner for a solid granny square with no gaps. So now on this side, we have three more, just like we did over here. We're going to work down the side, three double crochet. One on top of each, two, and three. Right, so we just finished the side, but we have to do the other half of this corner. Remember, this one has a cluster in it, and this side will be, since it's green, it's going to be the side for the solid. So the other half of this corner is two double crochet. Now we want to do our little half double crochet, it's kind of sideways half double crochet, in the top loop of our chain three. So yarn over and pull through all three. So now it's starting to get a little bit more definition. Solid, solid, granny clusters, granny clusters. Alright, so we're going to continue with our green chain three, which counts as a double crochet. Turn. And remember, in a corner for the solid side, we only want two double crochets. So since this one counts, we only want one more. One more double crochet. And that is the first half of this corner. Now we want two double crochet all the way down the side. Should be seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and there's number seven. And now we are to our stitch marker, which is our triple crochet, and that's where we place our corner for our solid side. So in this marked stitch right here, we want to put two double crochets, a triple crochet, and two doubles. So there's double number one, double number two, two yarn overs and make a triple crochet, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. Then we can move our stitch marker. Once you get on a roll and you can find your triple crochet easily, you don't need that marker anymore. And then remember to finish that corner is two more double crochet. It's five stitches in the corner of a solid granny square with no gaps. Now we're going to work in the top of each one of the last green stitches. Should be seven again. 
double crochet in the top of each one of these stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, and number seven right there. But don't think you're done yet. You have to finish this side of the corner. Right here, remember we have a cluster here. We need the other side of that corner. So half of it's going to be green and the other half will be yellow. So one half will be solid and the other one will be a cluster. So here we're gonna start out with two double crochet, which is half of our green. Chain two, move our green way over here and bring our yellow back. Grab and attach your yellow again and pull that down. Tighten everything up a little bit. And then we want to do the other side of this corner which is a granny cluster of three double crochets. So you can see why this one is a little easier in two colors because you don't lose a stitch. So there's our corner. There's half and half. Now we chain one, since we're working with the granny clusters, and jump over to this next space, our chain space, and do another cluster of three double crochets. There's a cluster. Chain one and jump to this next space, which happens to be a corner. So a corner is a granny cluster of three double crochets. Three. Chain two and another cluster, which is a set of three double crochets. So that is our whole corner. And we're still working with yellow, so we want to chain one, jump to the next chain space, and do another cluster. Chain one, jump to the next part. Oh no, we have to finish this corner. It has half the corner, it has two double crochets in the green. So now we have to do the other half, which is a cluster of three. One, two, three double crochets. And remember, always on the opposite side of where you are here. I'm gonna do a sideways half double crochet into that top loop of our chain three. just like that. And we'll do that one more time. And I get to round one, two, three, or to round four. There's one tiny little change for the corners. So right now I'm going to chain three, which counts as a stitch, turn our work, do the first half of this yellow corner, which is a cluster, one and two. So remember our chain three counts and two more double crochets chain one, jump to the next space and another cluster. Chain one, jump to the next space and with another cluster of three double crochets. Two and three. Chain one and jump to the next one which happens to be a corner. So again that was cluster chain two and cluster, but when you get to round four, I like to change it up with a chain three in between. So here's our cluster. And one, two, three chains. And another cluster for our corner. There we go. Just helps when you start to get the squares a little bit bigger. That extra chain will help everything not get too taut. We're going to chain one and jump over to our next space because we're still working granite clusters in yellow. So there's a set of three double crochets. Chain one, run to the next. Oh, there's the next one and it's still yellow. Two, three, another granny cluster. 
and chain one. The next corner, uh oh, the next stitch is a corner. So we're going to do half of this corner in yellow, which is a granny, granny cluster of three double crochets. One, two, three. And then we're going to chain three. One, two, three. Move our yellow way over here so it doesn't get mixed in. We don't want to accidentally cover anything up and attach our green. Tighten that up. Tighten this up and finish the other side of this corner with two double crochets. And now we work down this side again until we get to our stitch marker, which this will be 11. 1, 10, and number 11 increases by 4 each time. And we made it back to our stitch marker, which is a corner for a solid granny with no gaps. And that's two double crochets, a triple crochet, and two double crochets in the same corner. So there'll be five stitches, two doubles. Here's my triple, the same stitch, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two, and two more double crochets to finish out our five stitches in this corner. Now we're still working with green, so we're going to go all the way down with one double crochet on top of every other double crochet from the previous round and there will be 11. One, there's number 10, and there's our last one right here is number 11. But now we have to finish this corner because this is a half a corner right here with the cluster. This is our split colors. So in this corner we want two double crochets to finish the solid half of that corner. And if you're going to keep going, we want to do the sideways half double crochet again. And now you just keep right on going. Keep going and going and going, just like the Energizer Bunny. However, if it's the size that you want it to be, if you've made it huge and you made your throw and you're all done, we chain two and then slip stitch into the top of our third chain over here, which makes our chain three for our corner and finish off. Now you just have to weave in some ends pull on the green, make it nice and tight in the middle. So now you can be done with your beautiful little square. And I like this one. This, these colors per were perfect for me. So thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks and stop back soon. Thanks. Bye.